Hi Libra, welcome to your reading for December. This reading will apply to you if you have your Sun, Moon, Venus or Ascendant in Libra. I would specifically recommend you to check your um, you know, accurate planetary placements with the Vedic uh, astrology calculator. And once you do that, you can specifically check your Venus and your Ascendant for love readings. Um, those will give you the most accurate readings and most accurate answers. And um, with that, let's begin. Okay. Okay, Libras, I hope you guys have been well. Let's take a look first at what the recent past has been like for you and your person. Okay. So there's been a period of confusion, choices. For the both of you okay um it's a cups energy so water energy to do with a lot of emotional choices and it's to do with the fact that i think one of you wants stability you or your partner or you or your twin flame or soulmate one person wants stability uh, when the hierophant card comes in firstly it could mean that one of you uh, are either a Taurus or you have a strong Taurus placement in your chart. The second thing it means is that there's something serious on the cards, something um, to do with, uh, you know, an institution, a societal institution like marriage. Okay. Um, the other thing it could mean definitely is that your you or your person are, you know, in some sort of uh, teaching or... Uh, teaching or a mentorship position okay you're at the point where someone could come to you and ask for advice okay but generally in love readings this definitely means that there has been confusion over the fact that with you know that uh maybe you're confused about the fact that whether you want to get married to this person or not okay or either they are confused about the fact that they want to get married to you okay um a little more on this okay so, yeah, so there's definitely one person, one of you, okay, who is, uh, has a lot of fire energy in them, like Leo, Sagittarius or Aries in, uh, in, you know, significantly placed in your planets, okay. And this person wants to kind of move on from the situation and move on to something uh, to, you know, move on to a fresh start. Okay, now the fresh start could either be that the fresh start could be a marriage. Okay, the marriage could be the fresh start. Okay, uh, but there's confusion, confusion pertaining to this fresh start. Now, this king of wands, either is you or your person. Okay, uh, someone who is very, um, you know, passionate. Okay, someone who is kind of like, you know, uh, a, a great ruler, okay, a great ruler, a great person, but um, has a lot of uh, fire in them in terms of, you know, fire in the belly as well. And also, in a good way, that fire in the belly helps them, you know, really move ahead in life, whether it may be different projects or taking something on, you know, um, 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 Take, taking something on full on full steam ahead okay so there's 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 definitely no dearth of energy here with this person whoever it is okay uh they are very energetic definitely okay 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 so yeah there are seem to be some sort of disagreements between you two again it's a wands energy fire energy okay and this is uh, um you know you or them move, wanting to move ahead to greener pastures or something better to maybe a marriage to maybe leaving the situation this we don't know okay um but there are disagreements this is, there are disagreements definitely because one of you is the queen of cups very emotional, very sentimental, very based on on decisions made purely from the heart and the sentiment. And one of you is more fiery, you know, oriented person, like someone who is more sexually or, you know, uh, someone who has uh, most like in terms of desires, they are more earthly, you know, 
earthly in the sense of just quite um you know more to do with physical attraction more to do with sexual desires okay more to do with physicality more to do with what really is uh, kind of tangible okay um i have a feeling that i mean here the roles could be reversed but i have a feeling that libra you are the one who is more emotional at the moment but really i could be wrong if these you know the roles can be reversed since it's a general reading i can't really uh, specify you know which card is for who okay so there are some disagreements there are definitely disagreements um and fights uh, some sort of um it's it's taking a lot of strength for you to hold fort it's taking a lot of um i mean it's taking a lot from either one of you or both of you to keep this going because it's quite it's it's quite a tough battle at the moment to keep things afloat okay let's just see let's just see what the um you know the, the future possibilities in terms of the end of the month will be for you okay wow okay <laughs> uh, can i just have two cards please for it okay so definitely a tangible offer is on the way the universe definitely wants you to have this tangible offer and definitely the tangible offer here in terms of this is usually a new start um offer you know like an engagement a wedding a new job a new new work okay in this case of course since it's a love reading i'm assuming that it's going to be to do with an engagement moving in together with the person you know like something tangible okay and since we have the hierophant here i definitely think that this is all pertaining to marriage okay marriage or an engagement so the future by the end of december definitely looks like you guys are going to be up yeah i think definitely there's going to be some sort of um you know you have a karmic tie basically with this person you have a karmic tie when the justice card comes out and this is you as well libra this is your card okay so when the justice card comes out you know that you have a karmic tie with this person and also probably being with this person and uh, you know or meeting this person him being your him or her being your soulmate um definitely means that there are some it's a it's all based and a part of your past karma and your past life or this lifetime and there are certain cycles that um you have to go through and certain people you have to meet and certain things that will or will happen based on destiny or karma okay so you need to accept that um let's look at uh, what the outcome will be the end of the month the outcome please okay so the empress is another card uh, for venus okay which is you too libra as that is your ruling planet so the empress is here but she's in reverse i'm just going to quickly clarify in case she needs to be Uh, turned around yeah so there again a lot of disagreements here this is there a lot of disagreements between you and your person okay um do i need to turn this around oh okay so yeah so there is a uh, some sort of hmm it looks like libra right now is not a good period for you you are definitely not feeling it you're not feeling this entire thing with this person you're not because the empress is in reverse usually if the empress is you know uh, upright it would mean that um you know she is the emblem of fertility uh, marriage partnerships togetherness love money and abundance okay when she is reversed you know that all of these things that i just stated to you are not coming into play at the moment probably because of this karmic issue maybe they you've had a karmic tie with this person and um that is what's hindering you guys from going ahead okay there is definitely a role of karma in this okay so i'm also wondering if maybe 
um, some of you guys are having problems in, in terms of health or fertility or you've lost a, be a pregnancy recently okay and if if that has anything to do with this because usually when in my readings when i get the empress reverse it usually means that okay and i'm wondering if that's the reason why you, you guys are having fights and disagreements because the fights and disagreements are going to continue till the end of december and um we'll have to see what changes come up ahead in january when i come when i come back to you and let you you know do your reading for january but as of now it seems like this the fights and disagreements are going to remain and uh, both of you are going to be very defend you know defensive at the moment okay um okay so let's take a look at right now a couple of energy cards just to get the energy of you at the moment first libra can we get libra's energy what is the energy <clears throat> okay so that you have the temple path here okay and it's in reverse okay so they want me to turn it around um i definitely think that libra your energy right now is to go inward okay as i said the same thing move on to something leave this situation for a while move on to a greener pasture for a while okay um you know temple path talks about going inward meditating a lot temple path also again is talking about past lives Okay. ancestors because these three lamps here they're supposed to signify your ancestors and your you know uh, your ties from your past lives always around you also here okay so card number 12 okay and, and the empress is uh, card number three so three and three okay so three must be a significant number for you libra Check it out. Let me know down below in the comments if it made any sense. But universe is beckoning you to go inward. Think about things for a while. Take a chill pill. Walk away from a situation if it's right now causing too much grief. Okay. And we can always come back to it and reevaluate in January. Okay. I'm going to get one card, uh, you know, energy card for your person. Let's see where their energy lies. Okay, what sort of energy they're in right now? I mean, obviously, I'm getting that there could be hostilities, but let's see. I mean, yeah, so anxiety. Your person is extremely anxious at the moment card number 18 so if number 18 or number 9 you know or number 27 which adds up to 9 makes any sense in terms of birthdays of one of you just know that this card is speaking to you there is a lot of anxiety due to the fights disagreements and all this defensive behavior and um it's hard for them at the moment it's hard for them um they really want this okay but one can't walk away from the disagreements and one can't walk away from the fact that you are not feeling this at the moment for whatever it is maybe you're just not in love with this person anymore okay okay i'm gonna get a few love oracle uh cards just to see if your person wants to say anything to you in case you guys are already not speaking at the moment and you want to know what's on their mind. These, this could be messages maybe from you to your person as well. Okay. Okay. I don't know what I want. I think Libra, this is from you to them. Okay. There was someone interfering in our relationship. Could be anyone. There could be a third person. It could be friends. It could be family. Um, you know, okay, as I said, fights, arguments, and conflict, okay, fights, argument, and conflict, and 
they're thinking about you you're thinking about them there's reminiscing going on okay hmm let's get a couple of these little letter beads out to see if any of the the you know if your initials or any significant letters maybe some letters in your name or the letter you know maybe where you live starting the letter of the name of your city i got a c i got an n i got a b i got another n and i got an s okay I'm also going to get a couple of my trinkets. At this point, if you want to reduce the volume on the video, please go ahead. Okay, so, yeah, I got the pink stalk. So as I said, I was getting a feeling that some of you could have been pregnant. It could have been a baby girl. And I'm wondering if you have lost the baby or either you really are thinking of having a baby and you really want to have a baby right now. Okay. The second thing I got was a starfish. Okay. A starfish because I strongly do feel since the Queen of Cups is here, um, you know, and she's surrounded by, you know, um, all kinds of sea creatures, just as the ocean around her. Okay. Um, if one of you have very strong water sign in your chart, okay, somewhere, right? Starfish. There's a peace sign because I think that you guys have to peace out over the fights, arguments and conflicts. Take a chill pill, as I said. Move on for some time to something else, okay? And I got the pumpkin. I got the pumpkin. I'm wondering if the last season, the, you know, autumn was something very significant for you or your relationship. Um, okay, the moment, I mean, I just think of Cinderella when I, when I see the pumpkin. Okay, so, you know, how she kind of transforms. Maybe it's time for a transformation, Libra. All right. I hope this reading made sense. I hope some of the parts of this reading resonated with you. Um, it is a general reading, so it is very difficult for me to get hundreds of viewers, uh, you know, and their predictions exactly right. But I know that spirit connects me to the ones who really need my help at this moment. Okay. And um, I hope that I was able to help. I will see you next month, Libra. Um, I will be putting up, a, you know, another set of uh, tarot readings for the new year for 2023. So please watch out for that. And if you would like to know when those are being posted, you'd have to just subscribe to my channel and do hit the bell icon so you get notifications. All right. Take care, Libra. Bye bye. Wishing you a really happy new year and a very Merry Christmas. And I will see you soon.